From neck brace to neck space, this is the story of how I took a cheap Shein sweater and fixed the neckline. So I think the fit is super cute. I like how thin it is. I don't think it's the material. I like the um, colors, even though there's brown in the center, which like doesn't really make sense, but this neck, <laughs> I look like I got into an injury and like now I have a neck brace. <laughs> I'm thinking if I can just sew it down and like cut off the excess, it would be cute with just a little, like it would be cute if it just went up to here-ish. You know, like even this looks so much better. So the problem with cutting this is it's a knit. So I don't really know if I try to cut it if I might, god this looks so bad, if it might lose, like I don't want it to unravel, so I'm going to have to do some quick research and, I don't know, hopefully I can figure it out because this is just not a look. So I've been thinking about how it's going to be a pain in the ass if I want to just sew it, like hemmed, because then like what, would it just like be this little bubble at the top, like it'd be kind of ugly. So I'm thinking I could like roll it inside trim off the excess all the way down to here and then like sew it along this so i'm gonna try pinning it just to see how that looks okay so it kind of worked i still kind of hate it but not i think it'll just look a lot better once i actually like get rid of the excess fabric because all of the safe all the little pins are popping out and i'm gonna stab myself so i kind of think i should just go for it I might do like a basting stitch and then see how that looks and like if it doesn't look good I can just take it out so we'll try that so to do this I wanted to measure out where the top of the fold is gonna be because my idea is to fold over the neckline so that it I can sew it to the hem of the sweater I don't know but anyway I measured to three inches and then I got like totally through and I realized I don't want to measure at that three inch line. I want to measure at the one and a half because I only want my neckline to be one and a half inches tall so I can have that mock neck feel. So I had to go back and remark everything. This is just a blue piece of chalk that I got for way too much money at Joann's. And I did that on both sides. So the next thing that I went ahead and did was I pinned down where I had the blue. So I followed the shorter line, you know, the line where I wanted the fold to be, and I just pinned along that so I could sew it more easily. You always have to pin everything or it's going to get messed up. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> So I wanted this to be a really loose stitch. I'm kind of just trying to get an idea for what I'm doing. So I set the loose, the tension, the thread tension to the loosest it could be. And then I made this like the longest stitch length possible just so that like when you go through it, just be a nice loose thing in case I have to take it out because I fuck up. got that like initial stitch done it's incredibly crooked as you can see but I know it's gonna look good because I'm looking at this and I think I like the way it looks it's just like a reasonable height rather than where it was before I could even go a little higher if I wanted but I don't think I want to and so I'm gonna trim off all this excess fabric and then um, probably restitch and try to make it closer to accurate so let me just get this out there. I don't recommend cutting this kind of knit with a rotary cutter because it's a dumb idea. Okay, so you can see how frayed the edges are and I'm like worried that they're all gonna come loose. So I'm probably gonna blanket stitch the edges. Okay, 
so I carefully unstitched the last one, which even though I set it to be very loose, um, it just wasn't, I think, because this knit is so thick. But basically, I tried to be really accurate in pinning it and pinning it in a way that I can keep the pins in while I stitch it, and hopefully it will come on straight. You can see I cut, and then I tried to do a blanket stitch or overcast, whatever the fuck you want to call it, um, on the ends, and you know, it just doesn't look good, and that's okay. I tried to line up the foot with the edge of the seam because it's like way too thick to sew over. So we're gonna see how that goes. This clip is sped up so much and I'm still moving slowly. So the point of this is to show you how slowly I'm doing this stitch because otherwise it would be so crooked and I've learned that the hard way because everything I end up stitching ends up crooked and I still go really fast. So this is just a reminder to slow down and live your life a little slower. Okay, I took like my damn time trying to sew down that like fucking collar because normally when I do my hems like they come out really crooked and like the whole thing looks stupid and I like feel bad about it and then just want to throw it out. But girls, what do we think? I'm feeling very good about it. I am going to model it shortly. Um, it feels pretty even. I might do a second stitch just because this is so thick and I don't want it to rip. And if I do, that'll take just as long and I'll be doing the exact same thing that I did last time. So... Mm -hmm.